Hey, are y'all ready for some number sense? Today, I'm going over the TMSCA high school number sense test, test number one from October 23rd of 2021. And in this test, it is a contest of mental mathematics. So I'll be going over the first 20, 21 problems. And if you stay around to the end of the video, I'm gonna go over some bonus problems for you that I think you really like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, problem number one, 96 uh, minus 63, that's 33. And then 54 minus 21, that's also 33. So 33, 33 is the answer for number one. Number two, five and one third plus four and one sixth as a mixed number. So we need a common denominator of six. So one third is equal to two over six. So two over six here, plus one over six there, that's three over six. You cannot write three over six, you have to write one half, always reduce. And then five plus four is nine, so that'd be nine and one half. Number three, uh, I'm gonna make this 0.25 and I'm gonna make this 28. So what I have here is I have 28 times 0.25. And what I'm doing is I'm multiplying 2.8 times 10 and then dividing this by 10. So instead of double and a half, I'm doing times 10 and then divide by 10. So 1 fourth of 28 is 7. So in this one, you have to write just 7. You cannot write 7.0, just 7. Number 4, 3 fifths divided by 9 tenths. And they want the answer as a fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flip this over to 10 over 9. When you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So 5 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 over 9 is 2 thirds. Always reduce. 6 over 9 is 2 thirds. And that would be for number 4. Number 5 is the order of operations. We have to do this part here where we divide and multiply. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. And over here I have 3. 15 plus 3, that's 18. 7 eighths is a decimal. 0.875, that's 7 eighths. Make sure you memorize all your eighths. Again, do not write 0 0.875. That would be marked incorrect in this contest. Multiplying by 11. Shortcut for multiplying by 11 is you take the one digit and write that down, 7. Then you add 5 plus 7, that's 12 carry a 1. Then you add 3 plus 5 is 8, plus the 1 is 9, and then you bring down your 3. So 3927 is the answer for number 7. Number 8, 17 times 12 plus 8 times 17. Since we have a common factor of 17, I could factor out the 17, and you're left with 12 plus 8, which is 20. And what's 20 times 17? 340. Number 9, 40% of 80 plus 8. So 40% of 80, I can multiply 4 times 8, that's 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. What happened to the zeros? They cancel with the percent. Two zeros divide by 100 for the percent. Those cancel out. So you wind up getting 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. Number 10 is the start problem. And whenever you have one of these multiples of 10, they're going to be start problems. They're going to be approximations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this minus 942 and this 926. I'm going to cancel those out. And so what I have then is I have 2,000 and then minus 3,500. I have minus 1,500. And then I'm going to have 6,337. Or 63 minus 15, that would be 48. 4,800 would be right in there. You get plus or minus 5%. 14 squared is 196. And 15 squared is 225. So if you had 196 plus 225, um, one way of doing that is add 4 to the 196 and subtract 4 from 225. And so you see now that you're going to have 421. Now, is there a shortcut to this? There is one, 
if you're looking for a shortcut for squaring uh, the sum of two consecutive squares, you could do 2xy plus 1. And so here you're going to have 2 times 14 times 15 and then add 1. So what I have is 2 times 15 is 30. So I'm going to have 30 times the 14 plus 1. So instead of writing a 0 for 14 times 30, I write the 1 down, and then 14 times 3 is 42. Now, if you like shortcuts like this, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, and it helps the YouTube algorithm. And that's one way to support this channel. And thank you for all that you do. Okay, number 12, the arithmetic mean, which is the average of 24, 32, and 37. So it looks like the answer might be in the 30s. So I'll pick a base of 30, and this is 6 short of 30. This is plus 2, and this is plus 7. And so what I do is I average those numbers, and I have 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and I add it to my base, which was 30. So the average is 31. Number 13, what is 18 squared? 324. Memorize that one. You'll see it quite a bit. 78% is 78 over 100 reduced by 2. That would be 39 over 50. Remember, this was Team SCA test number 1 in, back in October, October 23rd of 2021. So this was the first test in the fall. And if you see this problem is kind of simple, kind of basic, that's how you usually start out. GCD for 18, 24, and 30. Notice the difference here is 6 and 6. 6 goes into all of them. The answer is 6. 19 cents times 190. So 19 times 19 is 361. And since it's dollars and cents, the 190, I need a 0 there. And I need my point there. You, can, you cannot write 36.1. That would be incorrect. Since this is a dollars and cents problem, you have to write 0.10. Number 17, difference of squares. So whenever you have a squared minus b squared, you're going to have a minus b times a plus b. Well, in this case, what you're going to have is you're going to have 19 plus 17, which is 36, times 2. That would be 72. And let's see. Okay, so number 18, 3 and 2 fifths times 2 and 5 6 and they want the answer as a mixed number okay so what we're going to do then is we're going to have 3 times 5 plus 2 is 17 over 5 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5 17 17 squared is 289 so you have 289 over 30 so 30 times 9 is 270 so it goes 9 times and then 289 minus 270 is 19. And number 19, they want the answer in inches. And so 36 inches is one yard and 12 inches is one foot. 36 plus 12 is 48, but you've got two of them. So 48 plus 48, that's 96 plus 4. 96 plus 4 is 100 inches. Uh, number 20 is an approximation. It's in a start problem. So uh, if I have 500 over 45 or 50 over 45, I could induce this by, by what? By 5. So this is going to be roughly uh, 100 over 9 which is 11 point something. So I got to multiply by 11 then. So 88, 13 times 11. So all I'm going to do is 88 times 11. So write two zeros for the 13, 88 times 11. So you write your 8. 8 plus 8 is 16, carry a 1. 8 plus 1 is... So 96,800. If you got 96,900, uh, something like that, that would be well within the range. Uh, 37 goes into 222 six times. And so 6 times 5 is 30. And 
for this one, just a quick fact, is 37 times 3 is 111. So that's a useful fact. So right here, 37 into 222, you're going to have 2 times 111. So you're going to have 2 times 3 times 37. And the 37s cancel. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 would be 30 for number 21. That's the end of the first column. Now uh, we have a chance to look at the bonus problems on the second pro on the second column. Okay, number 22. We're going to consider this the bonus section right here. And so when you're dividing by 8, you want a remainder. All you need to do is look at the last three digits when you're dividing by 8. If you're dividing by 4, look at the last two digits. So 120 is a multiple of 8, so the remainder is 2. Or 122 divided by 8 has a remainder of 2. And uh, I think, you know, 23, 24... Let's look at uh, number 25. How many positive angle divisors does 36 have? Well, 36 is, in prime factorization form, would be 4 times 9. And so you have 2 squared times 3 squared. And if you add 1 to each of the exponents, you're going to have 3 times 3. And that's going to give you 9. That means there's 9. So what you're doing is you add 1 to this 2 and add 1 to this 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, let's take a look at number 31. And number 31 looks like a Fibonacci type sequence. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 10 is 16. And 16 plus 26, that's going to be 42. And then 26 plus 42 is 68. 42 plus 68 is going to be 110. And then they want A plus B. So 42 plus the 110, that's going to be 152. So all you need to do is add these two to get A, and then add A plus 68 to get B, and then just add A plus B. That was for number 31. Number 32, 2 fifths times 3 fifths, that's going to be 6 over 25. And then 7 times, add 1 here, 7 times 8 is 56. 16 is what percent of 80? That's 1 fifth. 1 fifth is a percent, is 20%. Okay, number 34 is the one that looks kind of interesting. So this would be the bonus problem, and this would be our last problem. Now, if you have any questions, uh, leave leave questions in the comments and let me know. I'll answer all comments, Any anything that you didn't understand in this video, let me know that something we went over, I could make another video with more details. Square root of 18 is actually a 9 times 2, so that's 3 square root of 2. And 72 is 36 times 2, that's 6 square root of 2. And when you add those, you get 9 square root of 2. Now, W is not a 2, because it's not in the form of A square root of B, what's B? Everything is un under the radical. So what I have now is I have 9 squared of 2. And I've got to put the 9 back in the radical. So 9 squared is 81. 81 times 2 is 162. And that was the correct answer. A um, little bit different because you have to work back and put the 9 back into the radical. So 9 squared is 81. So now you have square root of 81 squared of 2. 81 times 2 is 162. And that was the answer for number 34. Okay, I know some students have asked me if I can help them with more questions on the back or more advanced number sense. I'm going to leave my email address there at the bottom, the number sense 400 at gmail.com. If you're interested, let me know. And you can chat with me directly there. And uh, that's going to be it for now. I appreciate uh, you watching the video all the way to the end. And we will see you in the next video.